I'm going to be speaking about Ayanna Presley. And, <laughs> uh, and ladies and gentlemen, this squad member seeks to ban life sentences, allow transgender inmates to choose their prison. Mm -mm -mm. And it goes on to say, Representative Ayanna Presley, Democrat of Massachusetts, introduced a resolution Thursday that advocates for a sweeping changes to the American criminal justice system, including a provision that would allow transgender individuals to be housed in a facility that conforms with their gender gender identity. That's absolutely ridiculous. And the res resolution, which she dubbed the people's justice guarantee proposes a broad uh, suite of reforms ranging from uh, from a ban of license life sentences without parole to an assault weapons ban to decriminalizing prostitution, which they have basically already did in California. Um, what do you think about this, Barry? Uh, this, this to me just sounds absolutely it, it's almost as if they're releasing the gates of hell upon us right now. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's going on, Barry? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to sound rather um, non-politically correct. It seems to me, I know I'm going to sound ignorant, but <laughs> you're a boy if you look down and you see something, and you're a girl if you look down and you don't see anything. And all the other genders, and, and I'm not making this up, I have heard that there's 40 and 50 Holy and 60. I, I have no clue what those words even mean <laughs> and, and and I don't even want to know but I can tell you this as the father of a daughter I don't want my daughter in the bathroom at a Target store with a guy in a dress I just don't Jermaine and I don't want my boys in a bathroom with a girl who says she's a guy. No good can come of that. This idea that we have to have prisons now where people decide, well, I'm a this or I'm a that, and I don't even want to get into all the terminology because I don't <laughs> understand it and I'm not going to take the time to learn it, is nuts. They're going to kill each other in there with these rules. You're a boy or you're a girl, and there's something like one out of a thousand, two out of ten thousand that might have both sexes, and maybe in those cases, and it's it's like it's like this. You don't change society for that number of people. Quite frankly, enough's enough. You're one or you're the other. And that's the way I see it. And it's not a religious thing. I think it's just basic biology. <laughs> Common sense. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I mean, why spend your time on this goofball stuff that most people who are parents, Jermaine, know better? You know, where these, these parents are giving their kids drugs to change their sexes or repress the testicles or enhance the breasts because they've decided their five-year-old should be the other sex. Oh my God, is that a prescription for screwing that kid's life up forever? Mm -mm -mm. Don't you think? It's hard enough growing up. Why throw that at those children, let alone when they're in school? You know, one of my pet peeves is in athletics now, in many states, every in girls' sports, I mean, and I think girls' sports ought to have the equality to, to boys' sports in, in school. I really believe that. These girls are being dominated by boys who are now identifying as girls, where an 18-year-old man is wrestling an 18-year-old woman for the high school wrestling competition and beating the crap out of her because he's a guy who says he's a girl. Track and field, wrestling, cycling, 
sprinting, long distance track, and so on, all the records are being shattered by boys who say they're girls. I have a problem with that. They ought to test these kids, and if your chromosomes come back girl, okay, great. Mm -hmm. You know, you should be competing with the girls, and it comes back boy, compete with the boys. If you self-identify as a girl, but you have, well, testicles and a penis, well, I'm sorry you're having a gender issue, but you can't compete against the girls. It's not fair. You're stronger, you're faster, your testosterone makes you different. And you're going to win just because, well, you were born different, stronger, faster, and it's not a fair playing field. Go compete against your own. And if you win, God bless you. And if you lose, well, at least you tried. I have a problem with that. This mm -hmm. self-identity thing has gotten into insanity. And I think, <laughs> most people, I think most parents agree with me. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? I absolutely do. Um, they, they do agree with you. Um, what she's pushing to me is so radical. It's beyond comprehension. Um, you, we have to think about it like this here, Barry. A lot of these transgenders, the LGBT crowd, if you look at it percentagely, right, um, the population here in America, it's really less than 3% that identify as being, you know, LGBTQ. And if we're speaking only about transgenders, Barry, that's less than a percent. Ser less than a percent. So, Right now, no, we it's have much, the liberal it's much less than that. It's much less than that. <laughs> probably, probably less than zero. <laughs> and, and these people are pushing an agenda for, uh, you know, a population that doesn't even really represent America here. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it's oh, not I a do. representation of America. And why aren't Americans saying, why are we doing this? Why are well, we I'm making sure. laws that go against us just for less than zero percent? Look, there's there's two issues here, as I see it. I don't think we ought to discriminate against anybody for anything. Mm -hmm. You want to be a color, a sex, an orientation sexually, you know what? Go for it. However, when you cross the line into taking rights away from others, that's when I have a problem. That's when I say enough's enough, right? If you're, if you're a boy in high school sports, compete against the boys. I don't care what you think you are, there's a rule. You got boy parts, you compete against the boys. You have girl parts, you compete against the girls. I don't want laws that make it okay because you self-identify as a whatever <laughs> to be able to compete against the other people. It's just not right because when laws take rights away, that's when I have a problem. So I don't discriminate against anybody, religion, creed, background, sexual orientation, proclivities, I don't care. However, however, I'm not a fan of drag queen story hour. Mm -mm. Why? Because it confuses small children. Why are the boys dressed up like girls telling me maybe I, if I'm a boy, should dress as a girl? I don't want that. I don't want impressionable minds being, well, created into goofball situations. Mm -hmm. And I think most Americans agree. And this idea from Presley is one of those ideas, okay? If you are convicted of a crime and you're a male, you go to a male prison. Period, yep. And you go to a girl prison if you're a girl. And I'll tell you something, there's not a chance on planet Earth that I want my tax dollars to pay for your sex change operation. <laughs> and in some states... There are lawsuits pending. I'm not making this up. No way. That the state will pay for your sex change, a hundred thousand dollars plus oh, hormone. Oh Lord! Because now you want to be a girl, and if you can't be a girl or a boy, whichever direction it's in, 
then somehow your civil rights are being screwed with. Jermaine, that's nuts. Sorry, that's my feeling.